Hello all, this is the second video on MyFair RFID. In this video, we will see a practical example of uh, uh, server-based toll gate. That is when a registered UUID tag is brought near the RFID, the server gate opens. And when a new tag or unregistered tag is brought near the RFID, the server gate remains closed. It opens only to the registered ID tag. We will be using Arduino Uno for this demo. First let us see the connection between RFID and the Arduino Uno. This MFRC522 is SPA enabled and it is a 3.3 volt device. Do not connect 5 volt, it will damage the device. Uh, connect the VCC of uh, MFRC522 to 3.3 uh, volt of Arduino and ground to ground. The other connections are uh, RST to pin 9 of Arduino, uh, SS that is a slave select is uh, represented as SDA, it is connected to pin 10, MOSI to pin 11, MISO to pin 12, SEK to pin 13. The servo, uh, let us connect the VCC of servo to 5 volt and ground to ground. The servo signal pin is connected at D5, digital pin 5. A buzzer is used, uh, this is a 5 volt mini buzzer. It has got a long lead and a short lead just like an LED. The long lead is connected to D6, digital pin 6 and short lead is uh, connected to ground pin. There is also a ground pin at the top of the uh, uh, top row of Arduino. We will be using that ground pin for buzzer. Now the setup is ready. Uh, it operates, let us see the operation, that is uh, when a known RFID tag is brought near the card. That is UUID of this tag is registered in the code. When this tag is brought near the board, the server gate opens. And when a new card is brought near, the servo uh, remains closed. First, let us uh, read the UUID of the tag. For this, uh, you upload this code. Uh, link is uh, given in the description below. You can download it. Now let us uh, walk through the code. Uh, first the uh, SPA is uh, included, SPA.h which includes the SPA bus library and then the MFRC522.h which includes the RFID reader library. We define the SS pin and the reset pin and then initiate the MFRC object user passing these parameters, slave select and reset pin. And inside void setup, we begin the serial uh, begin with 9600 baud. And then we initialize the MFRC card using proximity coupling device init method. PCD is proximity coupling device. Inside loop, we look for a new card using the proximity integrator circuit card uh, method. PACC underscore is new card present. It returns 1 when a new card has been found. And we continue. And if new card is not found, it returns 0 and we return to the start of the loop. The second method, PACC underscore read card serial. It reads the UID and acknowledgement SAK and then it returns 1 if a ID is found. We use a, a string variable content to store the UUID. And inside the for loop, we use the ternary operator. That is ternary or condition operator, a question mark and a, a colon. Uh, that is if it is, uh, if the content is less than uh, 0x10, the first expression is true and 0 is evaluated, otherwise a space is allotted. It ensures UID of all bytes are displayed as two hex digits. If hex number is less than 0x10, it adds a leading 0 to the string ID. So the UUID is displayed as uh, 4 bytes of uh, hex digits. Upload this code and then open the serial monitor. Select the board of serial monitor as 9600. Now bring the uh, tag near the RFID reader. The hex code, uh, the UUID is displayed as 4 bytes of hex code. Note down this hex code, we will be using in the uh, next code. This is the 4, uh, four bytes of hex code. 
now let us see the uh, main uh, main code Here also initially we uh, use the spa.h header file and the mfrc522 header file. We include uh, server.h as we are using a servo motor and we initialize mfrc522 object and we store the uh, uuid we read in the from the last code using byte array. We have to prefix with the 0x with the each byte. And then we use a boolean variable uh, state and initiate as uh, false. That is the initial state of servo motor. And inside the setup, we start the serial monitor with 9600 baud. And then we initialize the MFRC 522. We attach the servo to servo pin using my servo dot attach, and the initial position of servo is at uh, zero degree. My servo dot write zero, and inside the loop, we verify for the new code as uh, done in the previous code. We verify for the new code, and uh, also verify whether the card has UID, and then we continue. And inside the uh, if condition, we compare each byte of the uh, registered UUID with that of the new card. As the array starts from uh, array element starts from zero, the first byte is compared uh, initially, and then the second byte, and third byte, and finally the fourth byte. We compare byte by byte, and once the comparison is true. It enters the loop. Here we change the state from uh, initial condition to true. And then a while loop is used till that uh, state is true. Inside this we uh, use a tone uh, function to initiate the buzzer. The tone function takes the parameter as tone uh, pin frequency and then the duration. Uh, the servo operates for a moment and then closes back. If the UUID does not match then this uh, error tone is generated and the servo remains closed. Now upload the code and then open the serial monitor. Now bring a, a new code near the tag. The server is closed and the registered tag, bring the registered tag, the server will open, the server gate will open and then close after a moment. For new codes, the gate will remain closed and the buzzer will uh, give an error tone. Now let us see the uh, next type of code where we use uh, where we store the UUID as string. In the previous code, we stored as uh, byte variable and then compared byte by byte by byte. In this type, in this method, we'll we'll store the UUID as string and then we will use the compare string method. In the void loop, we just test for the new code and then test whether the code has a UU, UUID and then continue. We use the string variable new id to store the uh, new UUID. First we print the UUID using UID byte uh, method. And then the new id is uh, changed to uppercase. And then we compare the new id with that of the stored id using the double equal to uh, operator. If the comparison is OK, if, that is if both the strings are uh, equal, then we operate the servo for a moment and then close back. If the comparison is wrong, then the servo gate remains closed 
and the error tone is generated. Upload the code and then open the serial monitor. Bring the registered tag near the uh, RFID reader. You can see the RF uh, the tag uh, UUID is printed and then the servo operates accordingly. Thank you for watching.